Hello, hello, hello. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally unboxing and reviewing the dolls with a passion for fashion. The brats have finally come back to us. So these dolls were announced to be making a comeback back in May of 2018. So if you haven't heard up until now, you must have been living under a rock. So when these dolls were announced that they would be coming back, they also announced that they were going to be sold exclusively on Amazon for collectors. Each doll does have a retail price of $50, so altogether for five dolls, it would be $250. These dolls are made by MGA and they were designed by a British fashion designer and illustrator called Hayden Williams. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, I did not know who Hayden Williams was up until he did his collaboration with Bratz. And I really gotta say he does amazing artwork. I'll be sure to link his profile down below in the description box and the Bratz Instagram as well. Alright guys, so enough talking. Let's get to the unboxing. Oh my gosh, that rhymed. On the side of the box, it shows a little picture of Hayden Williams, and it says, British fashion illustrator and designer Hayden Williams combines his love of fashion with pop culture. His work has amassed a massive, huge following and has been praised by the elite of fashion and music. Well, now, technically, you can add makeup there now too, sweetie. A Bratz fan and collector since their 2001 debut, Hayden dreamed of one day designing for the iconic brand. Now his dreams has become a reality. So here's Sasha in her box. And here's the back of the box with Hayden's illustration of Sasha in her two outfits. Her box says, Hey, I'm Sasha. My friends call me Bunny Boo because I hop to my own beat. My fashion passion is streetwear chic with a hip-hop influence. I'm always jamming to the hottest tunes and sharing them with my friends. So here's Chloe in her box. Here's the back of her box with her two drawings and her two separate outfits. On the back of her box it says, Hi, I'm Chloe, but my friends call me Angel because my look is out of this world. My fashion passion is glam with an athletic rocker vibes. I'm all about dreaming big and being a little dramatic. So here's Yasmin in her box. And here's the back of her box with her two illustrations. On the back of her box it says, Hi, I'm Yasmin, but my friends call me Pretty Princess because I royally rule. My fashion passion is earthy vintage and free spirited. I might be a bit shy, but my regal style reigns supreme. So here's Jade in her box. And here's the back of her box with her two drawings. On the back of her box it says, Hi, I'm Jade, but my friends call me Cool Cat because I'm a fierce trendsetter. My fashion passion is bold, daring, and head-turning. My girls come to me for all the hottest looks because I'm never afraid to express my unique sense of style. Here's Cameron in his box. And here's the back of Cameron's box with his two drawings as well. On the back of his box it says, Hi, my name's Cameron, but my friends call me The Blaze because my writing skills are fire. My fashion passion is laid back, edgy, and cool. You can catch me in the garage working on my bike or shredding the half pipe. Alright, so here is Sasha in her first outfit. She has on this black mesh unitard with this black bralette strap with buckles at the sides. And she has on this big puffy jacket that's blue, black, and also has yellow insiding. It gives off a lot of Rihanna vibes to me. She has on these blue jeans that have little cutouts at the top part of her legs. And she has on, I want to say these gray and white camouflage heels. This little bent back here, I actually kind of did that taking her out of the box. But yeah, this is so far my favorite Bratz doll ever. I'm really loving her face. She's the only doll that's looking forward and head on. She has on a black choker. She has on the largest silver hoop earrings. And she has this burgundy lip. And she has this little cap that you can take off. She has long red and brown hair that's all mixed together evenly. And I'm really loving this color. For her accessories, she comes with these purple sunglasses. She came with a silver makeup compact with red makeup and a silver star comb. Now for Sasha, she has this black backpack that I kind of like the texture on. It looks like a very fashionable trash bag almost. There are the white painted on details in the front and it can Velcro to open up. 
All right, so next up is Chloe. And I gotta say, I do love this little blue jean outfit that she has on. She has also on this black corset, I wanna call it, with some painted on eyelids, but there are some stitching details. Her skirt is frayed down the bottom. She has a chain on her left side. And I think these print on her shoes are supposed to be a snakeskin, I believe. Now the Bratz dolls do have the bend and snap knee. She also has this silver choker, but mine is missing a few studs, but I can easily fix that with some glue. For her earring, she has on these silver little studs, and she has a black hat that has a chain going around the top. I am a real big fan of bleach blonde hair. It's so cute. And her outfit is in two pieces. She has these orange creamy shades that have these silver studs going across the top. She came with a silver compact with pink makeup on the inside and a silver star comb as well. She has this black quilted bag that has a chain with a ribbon going through the chain at the top. And I gotta say, it's really reminding me of a Chanel bag too. All right, next up is our pretty princess, Yasmin. Now for her main piece in her outfit, she has this gray trench coat that has black and blue stitching in it, and she has two actual working pockets on the sides. And underneath, she has this white lace top that is also connected with two straps above at her shoulders. She also has some lace sleeves underneath the coat as well, and she has this brown skirt that has these little gold studs and some stitch details. So she has on this burgundy leather choker that has a gold flower in the middle. She has on small gold hoop earrings. And she has on this burgundy cap that has studs and buckles and a panel of crocodile skin in the middle. There is a little smudge on her right outer eye, but I can easily just repaint the white section of her eye. And so far for like every doll, I have seen like they have really good amazing hair quality. Hers is this light brown with these little honey highlights that I'm loving so much. Alright, so yes, I'm going to talk about the shoes and yes, I don't really like them because they are completely different. Same color, but completely different texture and material. But I'm gonna be honest, I saw this coming as soon as I saw like her artwork. And if you knew how like the brat's feet work, their whole entire foot comes off. You just don't take off the shoe. You take off the whole shoe and the foot in one big pull. Alright, so here's what she looks like without her big trench coat. And for a little precaution in case there are some younger kids that do have these dolls and don't know, um, they do have fingers and with like mesh sleeves like Yasmin's, if you try to dress them with their hands still on it, you can rip the sleeve very badly. She also came with some sunglasses as well. Her accessories came differently. She has a gold compact with pink makeup on the inside and a gold star comb. Yasmin also does come with a bag that's printed to look like faux crocodile that can also open as well. And for the last of our girls, we have our cool cat Jade. I'm really loving her overall outfit. It's giving me that motorcycle vibe to it. I just love this. She has on a red choker that has studs going around and it has a silver buckle in front. She has on this black leather top that also has studs on it. It does have some painted on red laces, but I really don't mind that because they included that little detail down there with the hanging little ribbons. She's also rocking the side chain. I love that most of them are rocking the side chain. And her sleeves are not connected to her top, which I really don't mind that little detail. And as I'm taking this thing up, you see her thumb does get caught in the mesh. And that's why I always say to take off the hands first. She's wearing some blue jeans that have red and yellow flames painted on the right outer pant leg and are frayed down at the bottom of the pant leg. She has on these black biker boots that have painted on silver buckles at the side, which I like these too. The original drawing did have different type of shoes, but I like these as well. And she has this long jet black hair that I love. She also has the same type of hoops as Yasmin does, but in silver. So she came with this burgundy beret that was bolted to her hair with those little plastic stays. And her hair is actually pre-styled into these little space buns. She came with these neon yellow sunglasses. And she also came with a silver compact with red makeup on the inside and a silver star comb as well. And for Jade's bag, it's significantly different from everyone else's bag. Different shape, different color. It, this is the only one that has fur on the sides. And this one doesn't have Velcro. It has this little loop around this little bead right here. And you can open it. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Cameron. I already pre-washed his hair. The sides of his head are shaved. 
He has two piercings on the left side of his ear, and I want to say his hair is this titanium gray color. His eyes are also a blue grayish color. He has on a silver choker. He has this blue button up that's under this leather and fur coat. And he has these blue jeans. And I notice he's also rocking the side chain as well. That's three dolls so far. That's rocking the side chain. And for his shoes, he just has regular black boots. Now, when Cameron was posted along with his like outfit pictures, he always had sleeves covering up his arms. And since I saw the rest of the girls, I thought, oh, he'll have the same type of articulation. But no, he doesn't. He just has the neck, the shoulders, the hips, and the knees. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed when I got him and unboxed him. And with taking off the jacket, I actually kind of like him like this with the scrunched up sleeve because it reminds me of my middle school outfits almost. And he also does have the bend and snap knee, but that's really the only good articulation he has. And his feet are the same as any other Bratz doll. He also came with some blue sunglasses as well. And for Cameron, he actually comes with a gray comb. Now for Cameron's bag, he came with his little black messenger bag, which I do love how simple looking it is. I actually want one myself, but of course, probably in pink. And it also has Velcro to open up. And with every doll you buy, it does come with a poster package on the inside of the box of the dolls in their first outfits. I love this. Probably on the back, I would have liked to see their secondary outfits or a second poster included. But either way, this is going up on my wall. All right, now let's take a look at the dolls in their second outfits. So here is Sasha's black leather dress that has the silver studs going up the side panels and that little side panel actually supposed to look like it's stitched up on the side. Now I don't know what this um, piece is called, this orange top part that just are two sleeves and just connected around the collar area. Now these shoes are supposed to be like white shoes with white socks I guess. It's kind of a hit or miss but I guess they never miss huh? But this actually reminds me of something Tana Mojo would wear and she actually wore something similar like this in her W video. Alright, so here is Yasmin in her second outfit, and this is like a really simple outfit. They say this is like her business outfit. It's blue with white stitching going up the sides. It has this um, blue lace with these painted on eyelids at the front. She also has a skirt that's um, a fringe at the bottom, and these little cutout for these sleeves are supposed to be here, I think. I think it's supposed to be like room for the hands, I believe. And the shoes are just simple, and I gotta say... I don't know if it's when I took them out of the box because those heels are doing some weird type of bendy thing in the back. And I just went ahead and left her earrings in because I thought it went very well with her outfit. Alright, so now I have Jade in her second outfit. And I want to say this, again, this outfit is kind of a hit or miss for me. I know since like from her bio, she like wears a lot of stuff. But it's almost like the fur coat is kind of overdoing it. She has on a white t-shirt with this red bralette on with metal studs. And this blue skirt with this pattern. I don't know what the pattern is called. She has these black mesh stockings that are supposed to look like socks, I believe. And the shoes are actually not so bad. I think it can go with her first outfit, actually. Yeah, it really could go with her first outfit since um, her pants already has flims on it anyway. Yeah, I think the fur coat is kind of overdoing it. But I do love the little space buns they did because I couldn't have styled her hair um, this perfectly at all. Just the fur coat is kind of overdoing it, just for me. Alright guys, so here is our little angel, and I gotta say, this outfit is everything but an angel. It is all black, leather, fur, studs, loops, it is so amazing. It's this black mesh unitard that has these black leather pants that have mesh cutouts. It has these studs going down the sides, and I gotta say, like, um, this little slit right here, I thought when I put it on her, I had, um, ripped it, but no, it's supposed to be there so it can be, like, room for the shoe. She has on this little faux fur coat and this black like bralette strap around her and she has some stitch detailing in the front of her pants and I gotta say her face makeup is just so good with this outfit as well. Alright so here's Cameron in partial of his second outfit. So his second outfit is basically this white and black mixture type sweater with these distressed blue jeans going down the sides and the same shoes just in a brown color. So I say partial of his second outfit because the sweater is like really thick on him. He comes with this white jacket that has these silver zippers, studs, and buckles and stuff like that, which is really cool. But I couldn't find a way to put the jacket on him without the sweater bunching up underneath. And that just looks completely tacky. They could have substituted for a black t-shirt, but I want to keep him in his first outfit because it does look better. 
all right you guys that was my little review on the 2018 bratz collector dolls i really gotta say i love these dolls so much and especially from what i've seen bratz how they were in the past when i first started collecting i really do love these dolls so much i prefer these and now i guess i can get into the little tea portion of this video i never like want to get into any drama or anything but ever since these dolls announced that they were going to be coming back and their images were released like people have nitpicked these dolls to death and like went after the company the even hayden williams were like designing the dolls and like oh how could you allow this like there's not going to be everything about a doll brand or line that you're always going to like there are some things with my little pony i don't like and I always say this, but don't go by the opinions of what other people say or do. Just let you be the judge of what you spend your money on or the things you do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell icon so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!